I grew up in a subtropical rural region of eastern Australia where a huge river made its way down from the mountains to the coast through its tall forests, national parks, bushland, farms and various towns and villages. There were always seed pods which I'd pick up and observe and sometimes collect. What so inspired me about seeds came to light gradually. Something persisted in the back of my mind over the years and every so often I would be drawn to pick up seed pods and look at them and observe them and draw from them. It was here in Brisbane about six years ago I started doing very focused seed related artwork and research. It was watching the life cycle of plants play out in my garden with seeds coming to life, flourishing for a time and then dying off only to come to life later again, that it began to have a startling effect on my understanding of the workings of nature. Seeds are very fascinating and that there is so much diversity it can be quite mind-blowing. I could ponder past, present and future through the lens of seeds and find extraordinary layers of history, science and culture and thus shape through art a way of participating in this grand dialogue around seeds. Thus, Homage to the Seed was launched in January 2010 and with it a blog to record the year's experience which still continues to this day. I think the Crop Diversity Trust work is incredibly important for a number of reasons. Initially, it offered for me a counterpoint to abundant, poor information and highly polarised arguments that were in circulation. Understanding the complexities of the global seed story is hugely difficult as an outsider. I agreed to collaborate with the organisation, particularly for this role they're playing in communicating their extraordinary work in all its fascinating layers. Every story I read via the Crop Diversity Trust and similar organisations triggers more questions and pushes me to understand more. I very much want to be part of a global dialogue that focuses on complex, diverse solutions rather than single-pointed ones that are supposed to be the answer to everything that ails us. So I'm really at the early days of a new chapter at the moment. The search for a new home and studio was successful and in November, late last year, I launched Seed Art Lab, a new studio which I've set up as park gallery and workspace with room for some public events and collaborations. It's an honour to be asked to share my project with the Global Crop Diversity Trust and to be part of this dialogue that matters right now. Thank you.